up everybody? Matt Crump from MCM Inc. And I just wanted to say hello to you today. I've been on vacation for a week and I've put out a few things uh, this week that have been on my heart. And uh, one of the things I put out here lastly was about it later, like do it later kind of stuff, right? And uh, tonight, hanging out here um, at a high school, had to stop by for, um, for our well, it's our Serbian son, I say. He's our international exchange student living with us, and uh, we are really excited for him to be part of our family. And we're here uh, for uh, uh, some basketball practice for some stuff going on this weekend. So we're all over the place uh, throughout the state working with him to help him find uh, a scholarship. So in the meantime, you've got uh, people everywhere like this here, and you've got uh, folks over here, right there. And you got my son over there playing ball. And uh, way down there, they're doing basketball, uh, baseball. <laughs> Inside there, they're doing basketball. Guess what they're doing? Practice. Uh, because you can't just jump into the game and just knock it out of the park. Now, there are some folks that are naturally gifted. You know what I'm talking about? People can just knock it out and do stuff. It drives me nuts. Uh, for the rest of us, we have to work for it, right? And uh, something that my son over there uh, is trying to learn the hard way is that in order to play basketball, it takes a lot of practice. You can't just get out there and sink it unless you try. And the one thing about him is he's at least trying today. Um, but he doesn't like to, because he would rather just be the guy who goes out there and play basketball, be on the team. Uh, doesn't want to have to work for it. Um, but here's the deal. Anything worth doing is worth working for. And anything worth working for is something that you want to have that is worth it in the end. What's it? Your passion, your call, your drive. Um, that thing that you can't escape that thing that's like fire in your bones, the Bible says. And pretty much everybody that's going to watch this video has that thought process going in their mind. What it's going to be, what you're going to do, and the work that it takes to do it. So here's a little bit of my question about the kind of work that you're doing. Here comes my son, so I'll ask him real fast. Garam, let me ask you a question. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi. Um, what do you think it takes to become a good basketball player practice. is practice oh and skill mental skill. mental skill that's good so wait a minute <laughs> well there's kids coming to the dark on it so what does what is it about the practice part that you love or hate nothing, nothing? so you love practice yeah? What do you love about it? The... I don't know. <laughs> well, I should tell everybody the truth. What? Practice sucks. Yeah, sometimes. Why? What makes it suck sometimes? Sometimes you just don't want to do it. Oh. So then what happens when you don't want to do it? What's up, buddy? You don't do it. Or what else? You have to do it. You get made to do it. Ooh. Who makes you do it? Besides, besides me. <laughs> do, you do, it, do you do it yourself? Do you have any kind of drive inside of you to make yourself want to do it? Uh, no. Okay. I know I have to do it. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know you got to do it, but sometimes you just don't. Yeah. And then sometimes you do. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you very much, son. Go out there, place the ball. They took my court. Oh, we'll go take one back. No. Go dominate. No. Oh. That's a choice again, too. All right, so sometimes when people say no, which is a given, it takes something to help them to make the no a yes. And that is example. Even if it takes five, 10 times to make the shot in the video like this. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Motivation.